Hey cuties! So today I'm going to be doing a Q&A. Literally, I've been asked so many questions recently. Like my feed, um, I think it's because I've been a lot more active on social media. I've been posting a lot more, a lot more recent content. So a lot of people have different questions about different things in my life. I should just do a Q&A video because when was the last time I did a Q&A video? I feel like... Aladdin or something or like a genie, you know, I'm like, whoa, I love these sleeves. Oh wait I can make them not like bell bottoms <laughs> God, so I had you guys ask me on as I'm trying to like sort my life out here Oh my god, do we like the big sleeves or do we like them more like this? I think this is more like 80s, but then what do you do here? It's a it's a bracelet <laughs> Or do we like the big sleeves? I like it like that. Okay. <laughs> I should have just done this beforehand. So I had you guys watch my Instagram. So follow me on Instagram if you guys um, want to ask me questions or be a part of videos or anything like that. I feel like this is cute. Anyways, everyone, people are gonna ask me where this is from. Shein, I, you can use my code. This isn't sponsored, but they sent this to me and sponsored a video when I got it. I do Shein hauls. Probably there's gonna be a question about Shein. <laughs> But anyway, here we go. I haven't looked at any of the questions. I just posted it while I was at the vet and then I finished filming a video and now I'm looking at the questions. And now I posted, I'll show you guys, this is what I posted. Let's just see. Okay, so I'm going to make everyone anonymous so that people don't get upset and some people want to remain anonymous. And I also said in the story that people are gonna remain anonymous. Any YouTube, so the first one I see is any YouTubers you regret being friends with? No, no, I've had some bad experiences with you, some YouTubers and and some shitty things happen, but I don't regret anything. Like nothing's happened to the point where it's like, oh my God, I regret. I think as I live in like um, Saskatoon, I don't really have, there's not a lot of people around me. So I don't really interact with a lot of YouTubers in person. I would have to fly out. Why don't you get your nails done by Delaney anymore? That's a question I see a lot. So I'm gonna answer the questions that I see a lot. I actually have an appointment um, in a couple weeks here to get my nails done by Delaney. She still does my tooth gems. Um, I still would go for her for blinged out stuff. She's amazing, but it's the same reason why um, I stopped going to Jana, my nail lady that does my nails right now. It's the exact same reason. And people had the exact same question when I stopped going to Jana and started going to Delaney was why don't you go to Jana anymore? And they thought it was tea and it literally isn't. And some people still say, like when I say this, people are like, yeah, right, that's a lie. Like you're not allowed at the salon. You, She dropped you as a client. That's not true. <laughs> Not true at all, because like I wouldn't be going to her in a little bit here if she dropped me as a client or there was beef or anything like that. So I wish there was, because oh no, I, don't, I wish there was. Ew. I meaning I wish I could give you guys like some tea, because I'm literally literally not interesting, and I like to watch tea as well. But it's literally the truth. <laughs> I love Delaney for shape. I feel like in my, just in my opinion, Delaney does a better shape. I just, the structure is better, but I like Jana for more like, I want to have like d um, Disney characters on my, like drawn on, on my nails. And Delaney, um, she does amazing art, but like they're, they both have very different talents, right? I just want more art. Like if I'm wanting more art and Jana's my friend, Delaney's my friend. They're both my friends. So like I go to both of them. So Jana, she's like my con current, nail lady right now. I never, I always say nail lady. People get mad at me. I was just, just what I've always said. Should I change it? Like nail artist? <laughs> like I missed Jana's nails. So I go back to her. I might miss Delaney's nails and go back to her. I am going to her because J uh, Jana is going on vacation. She's going for a long time. So I need somebody to do my nails and Delaney's like, absolutely. So she's doing my nails in a bit. So I wish there was tea, but like, it's literally the same reason why I stopped going to Jana because yeah. So anyway, so there's a lot of like sexual questions I'm seeing here that that I can't answer, but I'm gonna ask, answer this one because I have got this one and it's actually T. Do your parents know about you doing OF? If so, what was the reaction? Um, I don't know if my dad, okay, well, I haven't talked about it with my dad. I feel like that's just like an off limits subject. He doesn't really ask about my YouTube or social media anyway. He just, you know, asks if I'm good personally. Um, but my mom, she found out and she freaked out actually. She got so upset. This was about a year ago. I've been on OF for a while now. You can, if you want to find it, you can go to the link in my Instagram bio to take you right to it. It's just, um, Pink Sparkles. It's 18 plus. And my mom was like sending me screenshots of like texts, not texts, uh, like descriptions of videos that I've posted or like when you're, when you post like a, a video or a picture on there, you describe it kind of like Instagram, but like 
an adult version so she was like sending me screenshots after screenshots like blowing up my phone like what the what the hell is this like what is this like oh my god like freaking out she just had a very like surprised um reaction like a very like i don't want to say like motherly instinct because every mother is different so I, that's um that's like a wrong way to speak but i'm trying this new thing now like where if i'm speaking i don't want to be like politically correct i just like speak right she at the starting had a very negative reaction to it she didn't call me names she wasn't like that she just was very shocked because i didn't tell her about it and like i didn't feel like i needed to and i felt like it was an awkward conversation anyway but um that's how we talked about it after that um we sat down and i talked to her and explained to her and that i actually like doing this i'm not being forced it's not for money i, I really like doing it I, I love showing my body and everything like that blah, blah 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 she was way way more accepting i think it was just the initial shock to like find out and i'm not sure how she found out actually but anyway she was just shocked and yeah she didn't know because we do tell each other a lot of things that's just the honest truth and but now she's like completely comfortable with it um i talk about it with her it, um if she's comfortable talking about it which she is and she completely supports it now she wouldn't like go on and look and be like woo like support like like or subscribe or anything like that but she's like um a lot more understanding and it's she knows it's something i want to do so that is a little bit of tea but it's all good now it just wasn't a year ago it, like was like like what the hell are you doing like basically are you still wanting kids love you so much um i go back and forth between this all the time but honestly i think that i'm leaning leaning more more towards no i really don't see my life with kids in the future if it happens it happens and i'll be happy but i just i don't see it and i don't have the the need or want to have kids like i don't have that instinct yet or maybe i never will i don't know but as of right now i i don't see it rudest encounter with a fam these are good questions by the way um have i ever had a rude interaction um uh there was this one girl <laughs> it's the first one i think it's the only one that's actually like rude that popped in my head i was actually talking with another subscriber and we were having a conversation about starbucks because we were there was like okay it was a grocery store but there's a starbucks in the grocery store so we were talking like about starbucks and this fan this other girl um just literally walked in front of me and the other girl and she was like <clears throat> smile like this and i was like hi like i like to say like hi how are you what's your name i like to take an interest because you guys see me you know me if you're coming up to me you obviously know me not in like a way but like right but i don't know you so i like to like I'm not gonna like pry or like go into your life but i just like to like know about you i care about you i you know i want to hear about you or whatever you're comfortable with but like no smile on her face she was just like mm, and like just walked away and then she, i was like oh and then the other fan that i was originally talking with about starbucks was like oh i'm sorry she's like i'm sorry for interrupting or like because she thought maybe like it was my friend that was my friend or something and i was like oh no sorry she's like do you know her i was like no i don't like, she wasn't she couldn't hear me talking um the other girl because she like walked away but she walked away like to the other side of the store and like stopped and i she could tell like she was either uploading the photo or sending the photo or something when i looked at her she was like zo like you could clearly see that she was like taking pictures of me or like on facetime with somebody and she was like laughing and like laughing and like looking me up and down laughing so i was like okay whatever um maybe it is isn't about me right now about the world doesn't revolve around me so i finished the interaction with the first fan and we had, she said have a nice day and then i continued on with my shopping and then when i did the fan came up and she's like the other one didn't turn out good and then she's like she like, didn't even like ask for a photo or like like in engage me in any way or even say hello so um but i'm never gonna be rude to somebody so i was just like okay so i smiled and she's like like this and she's like she just walked away so i don't know if it was a hater i don't know if that's her personality i don't know what but i just feel like it was rude so if you're watching you're rude <laughs> just say hello or like can i have a photo like i'm not a, a sign you know what i mean like it just asked me i'm a person take a fit take a picture yes of course like right favorite drag queen oh my god my favorite drag queen is detox and i met detox she was in this house love her my favorite drag, drag queen is always torn between trinity trinity the tuck and detox but detox has always been my favorite drag queen but yeah what's your workout routine at the gym i do mainly cardio i'm up to an hour of cardio now ah! I can see it in my face and my body. My bloating is less and less and I just feel more energetic. And then I do 
like some like okay I go to the gym three two five times a week so I always do cardio first whether it's treadmill or the elliptical and then afterwards I'll sometimes just go home sometimes I will do a couple of the machines like the weight machines because I don't know how to do weights but recently I've like just been like trying to lift weights and follow like YouTube tutorials because I go early in the morning um, but I'll just like pick a machine after and do like some abs or I'll just find a bench and like do some sit-ups just something a little after the cardio I don't really have a straight workout routine yet but um, I am getting more and more into it can you speak any French je suis pizza it means I'm a pizza like I literally I say that all the time randomly because it was from my childhood. And I know like certain words like colors, numbers, some food items. Champignon is mushroom. <laughs> Do you plan on ever setting up a better filming spot? Um, okay. That's sad because I love my stuffed animals, but if it is played out for you guys and on the bed here yeah. um, I think the backdrops were a little played out That's why I wanted it more personable here and it is easier to film It's not as creaky as my little chair was but I am painting my room soon here So it will be kind of different and more girly But if you guys would think that it should be different like I want to like actually decorate and stuff Like I want it to be different in here. So kind of I guess kind of it'll be like the same spot, but it'll be I'm from Saskatoon. What's your favorite bar to go to in the city? Pink. Definitely pink. Do you still plan on naming a baby Trixie? Um, wow, you've been following me for a long time. So that is an amazing name. Like Trixie. Oh, I literally would name a little girl Trixie. It's so beautiful. I just, I don't know if I want kids, honestly. Will you and Austin ever get married? Yes, that is the plan. Unless one of us dies. <laughs> What are you and Austin? We're boyfriend and girlfriend. But I guess we're technically common law if you want to really break it down. Boobies or booty? You can only pick one. Um, booty. If I had to get rid of one, I would get rid of this. I love my booty so much. Could you make story times on why certain friendships ended? Could change names. Oh. But then people, okay, the only reason why, okay, that's a good idea. But like, I feel like there was no like tea. Well, one of them was. Maybe I could do a story time on that. But like I feel like she would like retaliate and like like do something I feel like you know what I mean like and I just don't want that and also certain people have said cuz I've I know you said change names some people don't want their name like shared on YouTube that um, you know cuz it's just like the friendships done that makes sense like we're all mature adults we move on right and there's like no tea but there's one friendship that um, I just feel like is just kind of like I don't know, I wouldn't want to like bring up the stuff and I would probably get accused of lying and all this and like making up stuff or like dragging it out, right? If it's done, it's done. The relationship was a good relationship and then when it ended, it's done. Like certain things aren't, you know, if they're not meant to be, they're not meant to be. If it's meant to be, it'll be. So no, I don't think I will do that because you know what, I'm moving on from that. I can do story times with something else, you know what I mean? It's all kids, kids, uh, Austin, Austin, do you want kids? Do you think he's gonna propose? Are you an Austin? I want you to have kids. Are you truly happy with Austin? Like there's a lot of these right here. Yes, um, I am truly happy with Austin. We've had our ups and downs, but we're, I am truly happy and I'm in a good place right now. Have you ever questioned your sexuality or if you like girls slash guys? Um, I haven't questioned it. Uh, my first sexual experience was with a girl and I've always been attracted to girls, boys. I am attracted to just to, like who you are. I'm very much attracted to personality. Um, of course, there's like physical traits that I am attracted to. Of course, I'm attracted to like everyone. <laughs> Just a whore. <laughs> do you still keep in touch with your old dog Hogan's family? No. Do you ever feel guilty for not having a normal job? Sometimes, yes. Like if I say if I'm gonna post or you know if I plan to post in a day or if I say I'm going to post and then something comes up like I'm tired or um, like I have anxiety or if I'm have something going on I had a long day or if I'm just not feeling it or something like you know not right um, or I just can't edit I do feel guilty about that I shouldn't but I feel like I couldn't just do this at a regular job I couldn't just you know be like oh I have anxiety I'm gonna go lay down like I couldn't do that like if I was a teacher or if I was a, a doctor or a nurse or any anything I couldn't just like go, go upstairs and go to sleep or like um, work when I want to go on vacation when I want to whenever I want so I do feel guilty about that I do I feel like if I feel those things uh, they are valid but it's like I can't also push myself and mental health does matter to everybody but yeah I do I do feel that sometimes especially like if I make good money and if I complain about money if I'm like um oh like this is so expensive I'm like thinking to myself I work such a fun 
quote unquote, I don't want to say easy job, but like a lot of people say easy job. Um, it's fun. I would say a fun job, like lighthearted. I can do whatever I really want on my job that I feel like bad about saying that or like complaining about like, like a price of like a zucchini or something. If I say it out loud to someone, like somebody, like if I'm like talking with my mom or something and like she's working like on her feet for eight hours a day and I'm like sitting at home editing, I feel like bad or guilty about if I'm like, what'd you do today? Or I edited. It doesn't, it, sometimes when I say that, like it doesn't feel like a real job when I'm saying it out loud to others, but it is like I get money for it. I, this is my job, my income. That's how I feed my animals. That's how I feed myself, you know, that's how I keep a roof over my head, but it just, so to answer your question, yes. Okay. These are good questions. How are you? How is your mental health? I, I, there's a lot of those questions. A lot of them aren't really like tea questions, but they're really like about me. So thank you. It's doing really well at the moment. Where is this sweater from? Link. I think it's the one I was just wearing. I don't remember. Oh my god. I'm not gatekeeping. I don't remember, but I'm gonna pop it up here if I remember. Do you ever miss your tongue ring? Yes, I do. I want it back, but I had to take it out because of my teeth and my gums. This tooth probably would have fallen out, so it sucks, but um, just the way my mouth and my tongue and my gums were positioned, I had to take it out. I really, really miss it. There's a lot of, are you truly happy with Austin? There's one person asking me to explain myself about it, but yes, I am very happy. How many syringes of lip filler do you have? Love ya, love you too. Um, okay, so it's hard to answer because I don't know how many is in there. Okay, how many have I had in my life, right? Like I've had lip filler for what, like five-ish years. So uh, I get it about once a year and I would get a syringe, but then when I go like in a year-ish afterwards, how many has faded or dissolved to when I get the other syringe? Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I don't know how to like judge how many's actually in my lip at this moment. But the last time I went for lip filler, I just got a half a syringe because she said there was still some in there. So I probably have like a syringe in total in my lips right now, probably. <laughs> Why won't you dye your hair brown or another color instead of blonde. Well, I, I love my hair blonde. I love it. It's just me. It makes me happy. Bleach blonde hair makes me happy. It's just who I am. Just what I like. Just my preference. I've thought about it lots, but it's just, it's just what I love. Who are you rooting for in the playoffs? Leafs go, Leafs go. I think that's not a good choice, but I'm still rooting for them because the penguins suck. What does your family think of OF? You look stunning. Ever going to change your hair color, your career, stuff like that. A lot of, um, what was the paramedic story? Are you ready to talk about it? A lot of people are saying that. So I just want to answer it again because I just don't want to seem like I'm like not answering it, but I just, I like, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. I feel like the more I'm getting almost like, like some, some people are just asking, right? And I was the one that put it on the internet. So I get that. But there are some people that like are literally like pushing it. And I feel like it's pushing me back from saying what happened or explaining the story because it literally was the most horrific, horrendous, traumatic, time of my entire life. Like certain family members don't even know about it yet because it's so hard for me to talk about. Just to like put it on the internet. I don't like, I'm just literally not ready yet. I will be one day, but I feel like that's just like the only thing surrounding whenever I'm like, Oh, like if I go on live, it's like the only thing people are asking about. And like, it's the only thing people want to know about and they just need to know it's, it's really, it's so personal. And if, when I'm ready, I will, tell you guys what happened. And I feel like I will tell you guys what happened. I'm just, it's, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. It haunts me every day. And when I say that, I'm not joking. I'm not lying. I'm not exaggerating anything like that. It is horrific and it haunts me. I see it in my nightmares, wake up it in the middle of the night. And I, that's the first thing I think about when I go in a certain area in my house, it's all I picture. Sometimes I'll just get flashbacks from where I'm like standing to like, like people rushing in. Um, yes, it's just not there yet. I'm not there yet. And um, I will when I'm ready. Ugh, it's just an icky feeling. I, I know you're not like pushing, but like other some people that like, it's like their whole agenda. It's like I made up some story of an ambulance um, or something like that for, and I posted on Twitter. So like, I wasn't like, what do I, so I'm getting likes on Twitter. Like Twitter is like pretty much a dead breed. Like I didn't like post a video. I didn't make money off of it or anything like that. Like I tweeted, like there, there was like a horrible experience that happened to me. So like, I'm not trying to like gain anything from it. You know what I mean? Getting my nose pierced soon. Any advice? Anything helps? So nervous. Oh, I was so nervous as well, girl. I feel you on that. Honestly, just remember that it's really quick. Like it's super quick. It's super quick. It's just like 
whoosh, right? It's just like a needle going in, like boom, boom, boom. Make sure to breathe, 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 breathe. What I do is I like pinch, like if I'm getting a tattoo or piercing, I just pinch another side of, so my, if I'm getting my nose pierced, I'll like pinch with my nails like really hard, my skin here, so that it kind of like directs the pain away or like focuses it away. It's kind of like a stress ball method if you want to like bring a fidgety, something like that. Deep breathing, uh, make sure you're going to a place that like makes you feel comfortable and just, just do it. <laughs> And do it when you're ready. What is your favorite perfume of all time? It's literally my purse right now. Victor Rolf Flower Bomb. So good. She's a classy girl now. <laughs> you prefer being alone or with people? Alone. I prefer being alone. I do love being with friends, family, and stuff like that. I would say, like, I prefer being with my animals. Like, so it's not technically alone, but I just love being in my house. I don't really like going out. I mean, I do go out, but you know what I mean? Are you friends with Chris? Yes, that's my best friend. Next trip, Mexico, Cancun. I will be vlogging it. Yes. <laughs> Austin kids. What color are your nails and lips today? So my lips are okay I just went to go grab it. It's the Kylie lip liner in Malibu I overlined and then filled it in and then I have the P. Louise gloss in cookie crumble over top of it I really 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 like this gloss. Shugzy is snapping people. He just opened a snap. That's from Austin. Thank God <laughs> And my nails are all still on. It's a miracle. They are all black with crescent moons and stars and bad self-tan. <laughs> I should do more of these Q&As. You guys have a lot of questions. How are you liking your new boobs? Um, I love them. I love them. They are symmetrical. They are beautiful. I love them. They're settling so nicely. I'm wearing bras now. Well, I'm not wearing a bra right now, but um, I have bras now. They don't hurt anymore. I'm so used to them. They're just... Oh, they're just perfect. I feel like they're the perfect size. If I went any bigger, I feel like they would be too big for me. And I didn't think I would ever say that, but I think they're the perfect size for me and what I like. Like they're like, bam, like I'm not wearing a bra right now. And they're like, Whoa. that's exactly what I wanted. Cause this is like how my boobs looked before. If I like wore like a really big push up bra, that's how I wanted them to look without a bra. Right. And they do. So I'm so happy. What is your biggest insecurity about your body? It's probably something I shouldn't say because then haters and like trolls and stuff will like attack that. But like, my face right here like droops down words. I do have some contour on right now, but that's like my biggest insecurity. I don't want a facelift or anything, but anyways, that's like what I notice on my face because it looks like it goes... Anyway, it's not something I'm gonna like cry over or like be upset or not show my face, but it is big insecurity. And you know, I'm human, I have insecurities. Please, uh, but any advice on feeling more confident after weight gain? Okay, so it is, it can be difficult depending on what kind of response you're getting and how you personally deal with that response. For me, when I gained weight, all I can speak of is my personal experience and maybe it'll help you. It was like, all over social media, right? It's who I am, it's my image, you guys are seeing me. Some people just see me and like see my personality and just move on. Other people just like to harp on the weight and like this is the weight and this is how much you weigh and you're so overweight or you're so fat or this and that. Things like that can hurt you or if you're getting that in person from like family or friends or others or people or comments or anything like that or other social medias. People can be really harsh and even if you do have a thick skin and do have confidence it can still affect you even if you're not wanting it to or even if you have the highest confidence. I'm very confident in my body no matter what size, shape, whatever I am, but still some things can like affect you and your own mental can be its own block. So just forcing yourself to be confident isn't reality, right? Thinking about and focusing on the positive things that are in your life and what you do have, rerouting the unconfidentness into things that you like about yourself and that you enjoy about yourself is really powerful. Writing in a journal, affirmations, is, it might sound like repetitive or like whatever, but literally like standing in the mirror and just telling yourself, like if you see an insecurity on you or if you're insecure about weight gain, focus your attention away from it and look at say, oh my God, I have such beautiful eyes or you're beautiful. Focus your attention somewhere else. Trying to adopt a more positive mind frame, I feel like it, that's just what works for me a lot of the time. And just know that life is so short, there's always Always somebody who finds you beautiful and attractive and you have one life to live and your life is worth living there's a lot of how are you doing with anxiety what is like vacation Austin marriage like literally how are your twerk skills I don't know I feel like they're not that good but you can go to my OF and see <laughs>
what helps with that okay i'm gonna answer this one because a lot of people are asking what helps with bad anxiety for you tips struggling bad at the moment love you i i would honestly suggest talking to your doctor um not necessarily for medication when i first talked to my doctor about medication or anxiety she just did not want to do any kind of medication she wanted to find ways to help me deal with my anxiety and they really do help there's like workbooks online there's like things you can do online that really help and you can like sign up for courses and like techniques and stuff that you can learn like breathing exercises like the 555 method so if you're having anxiety or panic um so it doesn't work all the time but i will give a little tip um the 555 method c5 things so it's like your all your senses are like heightened because you're having anxiety so see five things touch five things smell five things or taste five things but then that could turn into like an overload of eating that's me <laughs> but those three things to like take your senses and take your mind away from it or attempt to so like um i would like rub the blanket or like oh it's leopardy you know stuff like that i know it sound, might sound stupid but it really works sometimes but don't be afraid to talk to a professional who can give you professional advice especially if you're struggling because it can be really hard i'm gonna refresh this and then i'm gonna answer a few more what's your favorite book black by <laughs> black by ted decker um austin just got home <laughs> do you see yourself with austin forever no hate i do i do see myself with him forever okay that is like pretty much all of the biggest comments yeah i'm gonna end it at that i'm gonna do more of these and keep you guys more in touch and i love interacting with you guys and answering your questions so thank you guys for all the questions i thought there was gonna be more harsher ones but apparently we have answered all of them so <laughs> i love you guys thank you so much and i hope you have a wonderful day stay you be beautiful and um don't lose your dinosaur bye guys